Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Premiere Pro to Instagram. Now Instagram is definitely a very popular tool out there for uploading your photos and now for videos. And you can do all of this from your mobile device, but sometimes you want a little bit more control, a little bit more editing precision and choices of placement of things. Um, and Premiere Pro is perfect for that. We're just gonna bring in regular HD video, create a sequence and output it. I'll upload it and show it to you on my device. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've already got something set up here, uh, which is the square video ratio of 1080 by 1080. That's what Instagram wants. And it also wants a 15 second duration. So um, how do we do that? Well, let's start by going down here to this little new item icon, click and choose new sequence. I'm gonna jump right over to the settings menu, editing mode, all the way up to the top and choose custom. And I'll put in 1080 by 1080. Make sure the pixel aspect ratio is square. Make sure that there are no fields. And 2997, that's just fine. The rest of this can just leave it as it is. It's a good idea right here to save this as a preset. So I'll click save it as a preset and call this Instagram. Click OK. And OK one more time. There's our sequence and it's loaded over here on the right hand side. I'm going to grab some video and drop it in. And you'll get this dialog box asking you to change your sequence settings because this video is not square and the sequence uh, is square. So we're not going to change the sequence settings. We're going to keep the existing settings and use it as is. Next, it's a good idea to set up a duration at the top so we know what we're editing. With the playhead at the beginning, if you tap the M key, you'll create a marker. And you'll see that little green guy right there. Double click on that. And we'll call this Instagram duration. And in the duration, hours, minutes, seconds, and frames, I'm just going to type one, five, period. And that's going to give me 15 seconds. I just hit the tab or hit OK, and it shows up. So now I know everything has to end at 15 seconds. And to check that, I'll just drag my, oops. I'll just drag my playhead to the end, and you can see on the left, it's 15 seconds. So I've got uh, quite a bit of video here, and this was originally shot on red, so that's what you're noticing, the uh, black bars. So in my effects controls, I can change things like the scale, I can change things like position. So um, I'm going to start chopping these. Uh, I'm just going to move my playhead to where I want this one to begin. And tap the Q key, move it over here, tap the W key over here, Q and W, Q, W, Q, and at the end, W. So now I've got my 15 seconds of video done. Um, let me just scale this guy here too, a little bit. Same with this guy. And I, I could have saved this, I could have copied and pasted attributes to do this, but uh, um, I'm just showing you how quickly I can get this done. And with this one, because we have so much extra video, if I go to the fit and choose 25%, click over here on this little button, you'll see how big my frame is within the Instagram frame. So I can actually position this from left to right. If it doesn't fit inside, I can move this. And this is typically called pan and scan. So I'll go to the first frame of this video and I don't get both the boys in, so I'll get that guy in and go over to my effects and tap and select this stopwatch 
and it adds a keyframe. We go near the end. Let's go to the end of this. And let's see where the boys are. Okay, so they're now both in the frame. So let's go back to fit and play this. So we're panning over a little bit, and by the end, we get both the boys in. All right, little pan, little scan. That's good. Uh, how about a little bit of music? Let's stick this music in here. And this music is a little bit long, so again, I'll go to the end and tap the W key, and maybe we want to fade this in, so I'll click on the beginning, Control-D on Windows, Command-D on the Mac uh, for default transition. And back over here, we'll do the same thing so it fades out. Just like that. Okay, so now we've got our video and we want to export this out to Instagram. How do we do that? Well, just like any video, we'll go to the File menu, choose Export Media. And in this video section, which is in one of these tabs here, in Video, Match Source, you can see everything is already set 1080 by 1080, 2997, progressive, square pixels. It's all grayed out because these are checked. And I'm exporting this out as an H.264. You don't have to go to QuickTime and then H.264, just select H.264 directly there. All right, so now I just have to uh, set the output of where this is going, and this is going out to my test uh, folder. And if I hit Q, then I'll launch Media Encoder and it will uh, output from there. I'm just going to click select export and export it out from here. And now we're going to export out that 1080 by 1080 uh, video. Boom, just like that. Let's go look at that. There it is in my sequence. I'll double click on it. And here's my video output in that square aspect ratio that uh, Instagram wants. Also 15 seconds long. There's that part there. And there's the boys with the slight pan and scan going on. All right, so that works out. Now, the next step is I'm just going to use a, a tool um, to get my stuff on my phone. However, you've got to get stuff from your computer onto your phone, whether that's through something like Dropbox or through iTunes uh, for iOS, whatever you use, it's going to be the same. You're basically getting this video into your gallery. All right, so for me, I'm going to click on my um, gallery, drag this to videos, and it's transferring that file. All right, it's saved. I'm gonna go back to my home screen and launch Instagram. And let's just make this larger. So I'm gonna click on the Instagram app. Um, you know, I don't really think um, I wanna know these people. All right, so down to the bottom, click to load. It's gonna access my gallery. That's the video right there. Click on the right to load this in. Now we can, um, here we can use Instagram's tools to uh, edit this if we want. I'm just gonna go to the right and leave that all as it is. And you can see up at the top, Instagram is uh, processing that video and it'll be available at the top of my list any moment. All right, it says it's finishing up now. And there we go. Now it is uh, playing back. And of course, if I wanted to, and we could tap this for sound and play it back. All right, there it is. It's playing back our full 15 second cut. Square video right out of Premiere Pro right into Instagram, and you'll also see there's our little pan and scan move that we did there with the boys. All right, so there you go. Those are the tools you need to make sure your Instagram videos are the best they can be with the precision editing that you have inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Anything is possible um, 
uh, within layers and titles and graphics and anything like that. Um, of course, you could just shrink your video down to make a, a wide video fit with letter bars, with uh, borders and stuff like that. Um, I prefer to have it full screen. I think that's the beauty of, of having that playback. You just sometimes need to nudge things around and make them look good. All right, there you go. So now you know how to get your Premiere Pro videos out to Instagram. Pretty darn easy and uh, very creative. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then down in the description is a special link for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.